This video has been requested for many of you and I really hope you like it. Today I'm going to show you five different tricks that will help you when creating your videos from your mobile devices with Canva. You can follow this tutorial if you have a Canva free account or a pro account and I recommend you stay until the end of this video so you don't miss out on any of the five tricks. Hello everyone, my name is Diana Munoz and I am a Canva certified creative and also an online instructor. If this is the first time you visit this channel, I suggest you subscribe because we upload new tutorials every week that are going to help you a lot. And don't forget to hit the bell button to receive a notification every time we upload a new tutorial here to the channel. Now, are you ready to learn these five tricks I have for you today? Let's go to my phone. The first thing that I'm going to teach you today, it is a trick to add music to our videos from Canva, from our phones. And if you are familiar with the application, maybe you already noticed that there is no section in which we can find music. So how do we do this? Okay, so instead of using the application, we are going to use our browser. In my case, I'm going to use Google Chrome and as you can see you just type canva.com and they will take you to their uh, landing page. Maybe you will need to log in into your account if you haven't done so, but you should see a page like this one, like the one I'm showing you here. Okay, for this example, we are going to create an uh, Instagram story, which is the second we see here. Let's click here and then instead of just uh, selecting one of these uh, random templates, we are going to do or we're going to add another little trick because at least in my case, when I click on any of these templates, it will redirect me to the app and here I cannot find music. So let's go back to the browser. And we are going to do the little trick we need to do to be able to uh, create our design or our video from the browser. So we go here to the search box and we click here again on go. And you see that the page kind of like a reloads. And now I'm going to open one of these uh, templates. Let's see. There is one with an animation. Let's try this one, the ice cream one. And now I'm able to open this um, template from my phone. So now that I'm here, I can go to the bottom side to open the menu. You see a button with the plus icon. And here we have access to music. So let's click on the music icon and then we will be able to select any of these songs and then uh, we can use the button on the upper right corner in order for us to download our video in this case this video or this design has two pages let's select just the first one and download and i want to show you that this video includes music. So let's wait just a second and let's see how it looks. Let me just uh, show you that it should have a music here or uh, it should have a song. So Yay! Okay, so what do you think about this trick? I hope you can use it and I'm sure this is going to save a lot of time for you guys if you mainly work with your phone and you want to skip sometimes using your computer. I'm really happy that I found this trick. <laughs> the second trick that I have for you guys today is how to crop a video into a circular shape on our phones. So uh, we are on the app, we are not longer in the browser. I want to show you the trick from this uh, application and we are going to open the menu down below on the plus icon and we are going to search for illustration and then you see that below we have like 
a couple of categories. So let's open the frame category. And now we can uh, have access to all these frames. So let's select the circular one. But uh, if you have seen other of our tutorials here in our, on our channel, when we are doing this kind of cropping, like a video cropping, we just, let's see, let's select the video. We just select the video and then we kind of like uh, try to position this video on top of the frame and then the frame will do like an automatic crop of the video. But here on the app, we cannot do that. So the trick is, let's delete this video. You need to click on the frame first and then after this, you go to gallery or images or video. In this case, we're going to crop video and you can select any of these videos. And you have here your video cropped in a circular shape. And what I also really like is that you cannot only use canvas videos, but your own videos. So if you remember, we just created this video. We just downloaded it from the Canva browser and it is already on my phone so I can access this video and work with it. So, so that's a really fun and cool feature that we have in Canva. The third thing that I want to show you guys today is how to add a video inside a phone frame. So we are going to do exactly the same um, process that we did before. We are going here to illustration and then we are going to the frame category. Down here on the second line of frames, we'll see our phone. But it is kind of different, the, the options that we see now, because with the circular frame, we were able to see automatically the gallery and images and videos. But here we just see colors. If we click on any of these um, pencils, we will have access to the color palette option and we will be able to change the colors on the phone. So how can we add a video? Let's click here. Let's go and select the frame phone again. And in this case, we are going to click on the second pencil. The second pencil will give us access not only to the color options or the color settings, but also to our gallery images and videos. So this is the way how we can include videos inside our phones. So let's select one of these videos. Let's do the hands working on the keyboard. And this is the way you can change and add different videos to your phone frames. The fourth thing that I want to show you guys today is how to add animations and movement to our videos directly from our app. Okay, so here we have our phone and we have a video inside this phone. So let's go and open the menu with the plus icon and we are going to uh, open the sticker menu. Let's open it. And here we find a bunch of different animations. So we can use any of these. Let's uh, use, for example, this heart um sticker that i really really like and let's add another one just to add another uh, animation inside this video so we can use this other heart here we can uh, reduce its size and now that we have our little animations here in our design let's add movement so if you see in the upper menu there is an icon that has kind of like a play shape. So let's open it. And now we have a preview of how this video or this design is going to uh, look when we export it on our phones. But in the lower section of the screen, we see another menu and we can actually scroll through all these options. And here we can add movement to these elements. So here we have breathe, we have block. Block is only for text, so here we don't have any changes. But let's see the other ones. So this is a really cool option 
that Canva integrated uh, recently to the apps and I'm really happy to see it here. And before going to the last trick, let me know in the comments if you would like us to create another tutorial teaching you how to create videos from the Canva app. I would like to know if you guys are interested so we are able to create a video on this. And by the way, I'm going to leave a video here that is kind of similar to this one in which Ronnie teaches you five things that you didn't know about Canva web. So if you are interested, you can watch it after finishing this tutorial. And the last trick that I have for you guys today is how to adjust the duration of your videos or animations from the Canva app. So I have here a Instagram story and normally when you download your stories, they will be like five seconds, seven seconds. It depends on the animations that you have on your design. But let's say that I want to use the full potential of the Instagram stories and I want to have 15 seconds um, of duration for this animation or this video. So uh, we are going to open the menu here and we are going to the third option that is video and we are going to use one of canvas videos so instead of going to gallery let's go to video and we are going to use in this case because i need exactly 15 seconds i'm going to use the first video we see here the one with the bridge and now what i'm going to do is that i'm going to select this video and on the upper right menu, we see these three dots. So let's click here and you see that these little icons next to these three dots, they changed. So before we had this and now we have these other three icons and we are going to select the squares one. And like this, we have access to the transparency option. We are going to reduce it to zero. And like that, we won't be able to see this video at all. And when we are going to download this video, you will see that this video is 15 seconds. So let's go to my gallery. And as you can see here from my gallery, this video lasts 15 seconds. So this is the way you can adjust the duration of your videos and animations from Canva. I hope that you really like this video and if you have any tutorial suggestions, we are always hanging out in the comment section of our videos. So I guess we see you there. On the other hand, if you want to learn more about Canva, I'm going to leave some tutorials right here that I think are going to help you a lot. And if you want to support us so that we can create more tutorials, subscribe by clicking on this button that you see right here that's all for now i wish you a really nice day and see you on the next tutorial ciao